Nearly four years ago, I reviewed for the very first time a Xiaomi television and while it had some good features, it came with a few caveats, especially the ads. Today I'm reviewing the Xiaomi TV again and this time the Xiaomi TV A Pro 2025 edition. I'll share what has changed and whether it's worth buying. Hey, it's me Martijn and let's jump right into it. Instead of starting with the unboxing, specs or design, I want to start with the most exciting feature of this television, the QLED panel, also known as a quantum dot display. This is the biggest upgrade on the TV compared to last year's model and especially the model I tested 4 years ago, which significantly improves the image quality and detail. In practice, whether you're watching YouTube or Netflix, the Xiaomi TV A Pro 2025 really impressed me with its color quality and vibrancy. It covers 94% of the DCI P3 color space, which is a 4% improvement from last year's model. Thanks to QLED technology, it feels to me that blacks appear deeper and whites are brighter, offering a more immersive, lifelike experience. And with that being said, it's important to note that QLED and OLED are very different technologies, as similar as the name might sound. While QLED focuses on enhancing the brightness and color, OLED is known for its purest and deepest blacks. But that's maybe a topic for a future video. The QLED panel also has a 4K resolution, support for 1.07 billion colors and motion estimation and motion compensation, also known as MEMC technology. This keeps sports and action scenes smooth by adding extra frames for fluid motion. You'll notice these improvements right away with this 2025 version and so far it's definitely worth the investment. In addition to the 55-inch model I'm reviewing over here, Xiaomi also offers other sizes. So there's something for everyone. I got mine through Xiaomi's official reseller here in Europe, techpunt.nl, so definitely go check out the link in the video's description for more details and current prices. With a QLED panel and a slim design, which we'll get to in a moment, you'll get a great visual experience. But with good visuals, you need to have good audio as well. So the television is equipped with Dolby Audio, DTS, and DTS Virtual, which boosts bass, simulates surround sound and enhances dialogue clarity. The Xiaomi television has two 10W speakers, totaling 20W in total, and I find it loud yet clear. And even in our large living room over here, it's still not really furnished because we just moved in, so sorry for the echo a little bit, I still find that the audio fills the space quite comfortably. I tested it at 90% volume and I'm happy to report that the speakers didn't resort. However, I did notice that above 70%, the increase in loudness isn't as noticeable. Now that we've covered the image and sound quality, let's discuss the design. In my opinion, the 2025 model sticks to Xiaomi's design philosophy of minimalism and elegance. The bezels are ultra thin, offering an almost borderless viewing experience and adding to the aesthetic. But even with thin bezels, the TV doesn't sit completely flat against the wall. On the side of the television you get a variety of ports, including optical, HDMI, USB, LAN and coax. The remote has several buttons, including quick access to for example YouTube, Netflix and even Google Assistant. Navigating through the system was smooth and intuitive. Since this is a smart TV, the A-Pro 2025 runs Google TV. And it's worth noting that Google TV is different than Android TV, though they're similar, but that's maybe a topic for a future video. Google TV turns the device into an almost entertainment hub, providing easy access to apps and the ability to download more through the Play Store. As you can see, the new television from Xiaomi is a nice upgrade and a significant upgrade from my 2020 model. 
They're a great option for anyone who wants to have a big screen with smart features without breaking the bank. And speaking about that, go check out the link in the video's description because techprint.nl, the guys who deliver this television, have the lowest price guarantee. So sometimes you can get it for a really attractive price. If you want to know what's one of my most favorite gadgets from Xiaomi, then go take a look at this video over here as we've reached the end of this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like and please, go, yeah, please consider subscribing so that I see you in the next one.